Hey, this is Ricky with Bayou Paint. We're glad you could join us today. We're going to show you all some stuff on the ceiling where somebody did not do a good job and the sheetrock and, and texture is actually coming loose. And we're going to use these tools over here to, to take care of this and see if we can give you all a good job on what to do and what not to do on how to uh, fix the texture and fix the joints up there. Uh, first, we're going to use uh, what we got is a five minute compound that dries in five minutes. When they say it dries in five minutes, it dries in five minutes. So this is something that you want to mix up and use in five minutes and that's it. So we have the other thing here is, is the uh, what we blow the texture on with. So we'll get that to that a little bit later on. And uh, here we have the pan and uh, some sheetrock mud that we got to mix up, which we're going to mix up this Easy Five to give us a, a base on it. And then we're going to mix the texture up with the, uh, with the mixer over here. So we'll go ahead and, and get to this and uh, show you all exactly what we're going to do. And so come on, let's go. Let's see if we can go ahead and do this. When they say five minute mud, they mean five minute mud. This stuff is hard as a rock. When it says, when it gets hard, it gets hard. Here we got some fiber tape where all these joints need to be done. It has a, it sticks on one side so you just stick it up there and pull it across. And you'll want to cut it like so. And so we're going to do that on all the joints. And uh, after that right there, then we'll come back and show you what we're going to do after that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and mix the five minute mud. Remember what I told you, five minutes this is going to be hard. So what we're going to do is just put, we're going to do a whole tray full because we're going to be using a pretty good bit of it. So we just put a pretty good bit in there. And what you want to do, you want to mix it so it's not sloppy, so it's just nice and firm in there. So what we do is we've got some water in here. We're just going to mix a little bit in here with this. And we take a five and one. Everybody has to have a five and one. And you just mix it back and forth. And you just keep going back and forth till it gets kind of firm. You want it, see how firm it is right here? You want it a little bit firmer, I mean a less, a little bit less firmer than that. So you just put a little bit more water in there. Just go back and forth with five and one, just mixing it up pretty thorough. So it's nice and creamy now. So we're ready to go ahead and apply this to the so to the sheetrock area, area, so we need to we'll put it on an eye. I'm sorry. Do, since it's and then just pull it across here. Just we're just trying to fill everything in right now and get it nice spread on it. Okay. After we got it all filled in real good, then what you want to do is you want to push on the outside of your blade just to get all that off on the outside of the edge. Then we want to come to this edge right here and push down on that side of the blade and pull it like that just to get all that edge off right there. And see where it messed up right there? So we got to come back one more time on it and hit it. Then you want to take it and lay the knife down just like that in the center. Just pull it straight on the cross. And pull it one more time. Just straight on the cross. And that will give you a base coat so we'll let that dry. Okay. So here we are. Get another spot on here. Remember I said five minutes. So here we are back over here again. Put us a little bit on the uh, mud knife. Pull it across just to fill it all in first. Pull it across one more time. And then we're gonna push down on that edge out here. Pull it across. So see how that's down to zero right there? Same way we do on the other side. Push down that edge and just pull it across. Then you put it in the center and just lay it flat and just pull it straight across. Okay, that's good. There you go. 
All right, so this is the second time we're going over it. We done got it all filled in one time. So we're still on that five minute mud hitting each side like that, pulling each edge off all the way around it. Put your, and then pull it in the middle. Just build that up in the middle. You just want that nice and smooth, which is not going to be there until we hit it one more time after this. But we're on the third one. I mean, we're on the second one. Golly, I've been breathing this stuff too long. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this second pass on all of them. Then we'll come back to you and put a third pass on there. And uh, we'll give it a little while to dry all the way, and then we'll texture it for y'all. Right. Two, three. After we skim it one more time, so it's nothing but sheet rock compound and we poured a little water into it and we got the drill. We're just mixing it up real good. So anyway, most people use this sander right here to sand off your, your edges and your ridges around all up in there. But in the five minute mud, it looks like it's still wet too, but it's really not, it, it's dry, pretty dry. Uh, but what you wanna do, probably gonna give it a few more minutes to dry a little bit more. Instead of using this and getting uh, stuff in the air all over the place, getting it all over your furniture, getting it all over everything, you don't have to cover nothing up get you a bucket of water and get you a rag and you just wipe the edges of it and you can see it just takes all the edges off of there just wipe the edge just like that so you want to go down to nothing here we go right on the edge right there see that just goes from here so it has texture to nothing right there and you just do that all the way around it just go ahead and feather it in just a little bit. Doesn't take a lot of pressure on it. What you want to do, you want to get all the, the edges off of it, anything like that. So when you go, see this is an orange peel texture up here. Whenever you go to spray your orange peel texture, which we're fixing to do in just a little bit. So you just wipe it all over and just blend it in with the, with the rest of the sheetrock texture. Okay, so we see how it's all nice and smooth like this right here. That's good. Okay, so you still, you see all up in here where it has all these little ridges and stuff like that on the side. All up in the center is pretty smooth. What we want to do is just wipe it real easy on the edges. There again, not putting no particles in the air or anything else. Whenever you have to cover everything up with a sander this way, you get the the little edges to blend in really nice and well and you get all that out of there just by wiping it across really really easy it just melts it off of there and it blends it in from the texture to the flat surface right there so that looks like that that'll just about catch all of these right here pretty good so we're just about ready to to texture that so anyway this one right here looks like it has edges uh, the worst of them all still again it's not really bad but there again with, with your cloth is just nice and damp you just wipe the edges of it and just keep going over it and just melts it away and blends it into the the rest of the texture in, in the sheetrock mud right there So anyway, this is our normal texture that we mixed up right here. And you got a regular, the regular hopper that we connect the, uh, the air hose to it. And you got to put it on like uh, 40 pounds of pressure that goes through there. And we pour the texture into the hopper. And you'll see that in just a few minutes, uh, how we do that. But if you ever need like little small areas, uh, like on your ceiling walls to put regular orange peel texture you can put regular texture medium or heavy texture on there whether it be on the wall the ceiling and anybody can do this uh, 
Usually use the oil base if you want something that you need to paint right off because it dries really fast. But if not, you can get the, they do make it in the uh, latex, which takes quite a bit longer to dry. But if you want something that you want to paint really quick, you want to use the, the oil base. Just be careful whenever you use the oil base because it is oil base and you need thinner to get anything up. So you want to tape off anything that you don't want to get it on. So anyway, we're just pouring the texture in there. If you don't have somebody to, to hold this little uh, texture hopper up for you, just get you a five gallon bucket, drop it down in there, and you're ready to go. You want to get your texture kind of thin. See how thin that is going down in there? You just when, you, when we mix it up, put a lot of water in there. So now that, that just about fills it up. And what we'll do is we'll hold it and just, we'll just hook this up through here. It might get kind of loud in here. So anyway, you just want to hold it up towards there. Hold it, point it in and just pull it through. You want to kind of blend everything in so it matches, matches to the other thing. So it all comes off with a, a damp ball. Just sit there and wipe on it, it'll come off. So 
But there you go. All the way from whenever we started all the way to the end, it looks like it really came out good. Now once it dries all away tomorrow, you're all ready to go and uh, paint. And uh, that's by you painting and